everyone. This is Salman Khalik, and uh, in this video, I'm introducing a new series that I would be working on, which is machine learning from scratch. What exactly we would be doing in this particular series? I will be covering, uh, first of all, let me tell you what is the idea behind it. The idea behind it is pretty simple that uh, learning machine means if you want to get started with machine learning, you need to be good at calculus, you need to be good at linear algebra, you need to be good at programming, and you need to be good at probability and statistics. Now, if you start studying probability and statistics on their own, linear algebra and calculus on their own, and programming on its own, it's going to take forever. Now, what is the fastest way to get started with machine learning is learn as you go. This is my approach and this is what I have been doing throughout. Yes, I have some academic background in it, uh, but, but, but during my academic life, this is what I have been doing. So I have done few things which I have never taken any course for, but, but, but I learned as I moved along. So this is my approach for this particular series. What I would be doing, I would be starting from the basic linear regression models. Now, linear regression can be done using two different ways. One is you must have heard about OLS regression or least square regression. So you need to be able to understand uh, what is the difference between least square regression and regression using an optimization algorithm like gradient descent? Now, gradient descent has multiple variations or different versions of it. So what is least square and what is gradient descent? We will start with linear regression and different flavors of linear regression. For example, like we will talk about uh, ridge regression. We will also talk about lasso regression and we will also talk about elastic net regression the way i'm gonna design this particular series is first i will pick up the simple linear regression model where we have just one x variable and one y variable then the next step would be moving on to multiple linear regression where we have multiple x variables we are predicting a y variable then we, I'm going to do exactly the same thing using ridge, lasso, and elastic net regression. And I will start with the least square regression formulation first of all. And then I will do exactly everything that we did with least square. So linear, simple linear regression using least square. Then multiple linear regression will be using least square. Ridge, lasso, and elastic linear regression using least square. And then we will move on to linear regression using gradient descent. And we are going to do exactly the same thing for ridge, lasso, and elastic net as well. So once you master these basic ones, I'm telling you, even deep learning also uses gradient descent. If you understand gradient descent really well, uh, you technically know how a single neuron works. And if you understand one neuron, how it works, then using a combination of multiple neurons and learning neural networks would become pretty easy. So this will give you a head start, not just in machine learning, also in deep learning as well. So I will make three videos for each particular topic. For example, like the first video in which I will be talking or breaking down the intuition. What exactly does that algorithm does? And how does it do it? And what are different formulas that are used? Then the next video or the video or second part of the video would be where I would derive all the mathematical formulation discussed in the intuition video. So I would just break down all the mathematical formulas. So we will derive from scratch and I will introduce the concepts of linear algebra, calculus and probability and statistics gradually as we come across a particular topic i'm going to introduce it and i'm going to give you a very quick background theory about it as well so that even if you haven't taken linear algebra or calculus courses uh you would know what exactly is happening at least in that particular problem and the last video is where we would be doing coding our own 
class of that algorithm using most mostly numpy coding from scratch using mostly numpy yes i would be using some multiple other ones but mostly it would be numpy and you would see that if you master numpy technically you have mastered machine learning and uh, then there is a you can say numpy on steroids jax this is another library which kind of like makes the syntax of numpy if you understand the syntax of numpy you can understand the syntax of jax and once you understand that you can make your own algorithms which runs on gpus right now we would not be doing that maybe in future i will make a series where i will be coding everything from scratch using just jax library if you want me to do that let me know in the comments below so usually most of the videos would be kind of like in this particular p part combination intuition mathematical uh, understanding or derivation and finally coding from scratch using numpy and we will also compare our library or our class of machine learning algorithms uh, with sk learned built-in classes because we want uh, to compare it with something right whether we are doing things right or not we should be able to compare it now let's quickly talk about which algorithms i'm going to talk about i already talked about linear regression once we are done with linear regression i will move on to logistic regression right after logistic regression we are going to move on to decision trees or maybe i can do uh, knn first or decision tree i'm still thinking about it so knns then i can move on to decision trees once i get the decision trees then i will move on to random forest and then i will move on to gradient boosting and uh, then maybe i will move on to um, um, support vector machines and then i can move on to uh, naive base algorithm so this is this is right now my plan now as we are able to do all this until this point then i will maybe extend this series as well okay so because if you know what is the background working of every machine learning algorithm and what each variable does you are better able to tune your machine learning algorithms because building models or building models is pretty easy because sklearn has made it pretty easy if you want to run linear regression you just need to instantiate linear regression like this linear regression and then you do lr dot fit and that's it so you have x variable and you have y variable and you just train your model and if you want to predict it you just do lr dot predict and so on so you get the idea three lines of code four lines of code you are done with the machine learning algorithm but things are there are so many variables here which variable the right values to use there are so many hyper parameters we call it so if we have hyper parameters uh, you should be able to understand what each hyper parameter does and how it affects the algorithm the results of the algorithm if you understand that really well you know how to tune your models really well and that is my goal for this particular series so this was the introduction if you are interested in this subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications because i will be uh, uploading videos very aggressively i will not wait for one video a day or two video if i can record two or three videos a day i will upload two or three videos a day i will try to get it done as soon as possible okay so uh, i will see you in the comments or in the next video um, have a good one